That's the third time today. I don't understand it. Are you sure you put the belts plug in properly? I know what I'm doing, you know. I've been working with boats all my life. I even went to the University of Keel and Hull. Trust me, there's nothing I don't know about boats. I say, do excuse me, but do my ears deceive me? I don't know what they've been saying. <laughs> Henry Wilmington Jones. Hello. I couldn't help overhearing, but you see, my bottom needs scraping. Pardon? So I was wondering if you might like to take a look at it. Uh, have you thought about seeing a doctor? A doctor? Well, why should I see a doctor about my boat? Ah, ah your, your boat. boat! Yes, it's covered in weeds, needs a good clean. Oh, I think we could help you out there. What do you think, Barry? Now, how long does it normally take to clean one of these things up? Oh, no longer than half an hour. Really? That's very quick. Do you use special equipment? Oh, we don't mess about with things like that. Nothing but a bar of soap and a toothbrush for us, eh? Well, we must know what you're doing. Right, let me at it. Uh, Paul? I just can't thank you enough for this. We haven't done anything yet. Well, I've just got a feeling about you two. It's funny, a lot of people say that. I just know you won't let me down. They don't say that. How are you doing, Barry? Not too bad, but my arm's aching a bit. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's because you're right-handed. I'll tell you what, I've nearly finished my side, so you go and finish that now, and I'll finish this side for you. Oh, thanks, Paul. Don't mention it. I've done a pretty good job there, even if I do say so myself. Mm. Right, let's get in the water. Prepare to launch Barry. Launch me where? Not launch you, launch the boat. Hey, do you think we should? I mean, he only asked us to clean it up. Of course we should. A boat's no good on dry land, is it? Come on. I suppose so. That's the fourth time today. Ahoy there, shipmates. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Leave it to me. I'll think of something. How are you getting on? Oh, fine, fine. Yes, fine. Everything's fine. Um, where's my boat? It's just down there. Oh, fine. <laughs> this is so exciting. I just can't wait to show Camilla. Camilla? It's my fiancé. I promised her a little trip. Can't wait to see her face. Neither can I. Uh, when were you planning this trip? Well, this afternoon, of course. I'm just off now to pick her up. Oh, dear. Well, there's nothing wrong, is there? Oh, no, no, everything's fine. Only oh, wouldn't you like to leave it for a bit until the weather gets a bit better? <laughs> Nonsense. Weather's just perfect. It would be. Well, toodle pip. Toodle pip. Well, a chuckle never stands in the way of true love. If Henry wants a sailing trip, Henry will get a sailing trip. Oh, dear. Hello, Dot. Dot? Dot the yacht. Yeah, the thing is, Dot, we've got a boat at the bottom of the river and we need to raise it. Can you help? Yes! Great! When can she do it? A week on Tuesday. Oh. Plan B. How are you getting on with that VIP entrance tunnel? There you go. Mm, not bad. Did you manage to get another boat? Not exactly, but I got the next best thing. That? That looks nothing like Henry's boat. Oh, granted, not from this angle. You'll never get away with this one, Paul. Of course I will. I've planned it all out. They'll love it. See? You simply pop the tape into the machine and hear the sound of the sea. <coughs> Not that one. <laughs> it's another one. That's the one. There. Now, don't forget to rewind it every half hour because there's a selection of sea songs at the end. This is the master stroke. Look, I 
put seaweed on the heater so as we drive further, they'll be able to smell the sea. <laughs> I've thought of everything. Just one thing. Don't you think they might notice when they look out of the window? Well, we'll have to make sure they keep the curtains closed, won't we? How are we going to do that? Do we have to think of everything? <laughs> oh, here they are. Action stations. I just can't wait for you to see the boat come in. It's fitted out to the highest standards. Absolutely no expense spared. That's what I like about you, Henry, or so. The tasteful, cultured. Vulgar. All the boarders coming aboard. Oh, what a terrible noise. Who are these people, Henry? We're the crew, madam. The crew? Yes. You don't want to bother yourself steering the ship when you could be life and soul of the party, do you? Do you know, you're right. I hadn't thought of that. You just leave everything to us. Yes, this is Paul, and I'm Barry. And you are? Camilla. And this is my twin brother, Melvin. Oh, twin! Oh, yes, I see the resemblance now. It's the glasses. Are you sure these two know anything about sailing, Henry? Oh, yes, we're lifelong marinades. That's a source. No, it's true, honest. This way. Well, well done, chaps. This looks absolutely spiffing. Yes, it's based on something I saw at the Henry Legata. <laughs> hey, I told you this would work, buddy. in here. Just follow me. I don't think much of this. Ah! Oh, sorry, Camilla. Where are you taking us? Steady. Not oh. just there, sir. Oh. Up these stairs. Ah! Oh. Steady, steady. Oh. What's happened to my boat? It looks somehow different. Uh, well, we took the opportunity to give it a slight makeover. Well, I've seen your boat now, Henry. Can I get back onto dry land? Good idea, madam. The water is a bit choppy today. No, 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 no. You can't go yet. Can't she? No, I promised her a sailing trip. And a sailing trip she shall have. Oh, do we have to? There's a very interesting documentary on water beetles on the radio. I thought we'd head seaward out to Shell Bay. Henry, I can get a bus to Shell Bay. It's funny you should say that. Shell Bay? Yes. Well, that's different. I think that's a jolly good idea. I was reading that there's a dolphin school there. Do you have to learn how to be a dolphin? Don't you know anything? Dolphin school. Heard of dolphins? Of course I've heard of dolphins. Dolphins? Oh, Henry, what a lovely surprise. I've never seen one before. Right, come on, Barry. You can help me cast off. Right. Now, let's get a bit of daylight into <laughs> the... <laughs> Don't touch the curtains. Why ever not? Dolphins. Yes, we did it on porpoise. You see, dolphins are very shy creatures, and if we're all staring out the windows, ooh, they'd run a mile. But we haven't even set sail yet. You can't be too careful. These chaps certainly know what they're doing. Can't I have a little peek? Sorry, madam. No animals allowed on board. <laughs> right, then. Dolphin Bay, here we come. Now, Barry, all you have to do is look after the tapes. This is the one. Seagull sound effects. Yeah, but what about the dolphins? No problem. Get painting. <laughs> painting? I can't paint a dolphin. Relax. Camilla's never seen one before. She'll not know if you don't get it quite right, will she? doesn't seem right. No, Barry, you don't want to let everybody down, do you? Aren't you excited, Camilla? Now, if there's anything you need, feel free to ring for one of our highly qualified attendants. Ding, ding. Yes? I was just demonstrating. All oh, right. And there is a selection of onboard entertainments for your delectation in the entertainments cabinet. Or, if you prefer, you could look at one of our many videos. Oh, uh, where's the television? Uh, we haven't got a television, but you can look at the videos. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're about to set sail. Prepare for a once-in-a-lifetime trip. I certainly hope it never happens again. Oh, yes. Seagulls. We must be almost out to sea. Seems a bit soon. Yellow paint. What do you want yellow paint for? For his bow tie. 
Don't be stupid. Dolphins don't have yellow bow ties. Don't they? No. Oh. Well, come around here, then. Right about that dolphin pole, it looks silly in a yellow bow tie. Good. So I painted it out and made it into a banana instead. You what? Well, I suppose I'll have to do. Do you know, I smell a rat. Oh, is that what it is? It smells more like fried seaweed to me. Oh! <laughs> you can't beat the smell of the sea, can you? It's quite unsettled my stomach. Yes, it is a little bit strong for some land lovers. Have you got something for it? Of course we have. We're always well prepared. Here you are. Put that on. That's it. Yeah, just a minute. I want a word with you. Me? Yes. What kind of a skipper are you? Well, he once managed six, but then the rope snapped. It wasn't my fault. What course are you steering? A rocky one. Eh? Um, what he means is, at the moment, we're steering in between the rocks. Well, I think we're heading in completely the wrong direction. Ah, well, you wouldn't know without a map. And a compass. I've read all about nautical navigation. Uh, you would have. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Well, don't be careful. You'll spoil it for us all. Hmm. All right, then. Where's old Charlie's head? On top of old Charlie's neck. <sighs> for your information, old Charlie's head is a prominent rock formation, approximately 57.3 degrees south and southwest 1.26 at the mouth of the estuary. Now, I estimate at our present velocity of three knots, it should have appeared on our starboard side roughly 22.4 seconds ago. Oh, well, this is true. But you wouldn't see it from down here. You'd have to be up on deck. All right, then. Take me up on Oh, deck. no, no. What? Uh, well, you've heard of the Bermuda Triangle. Yes. How about the Shell Bay Square? So that's what they call me, is it? <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like a foghorn. Yes, that's what it is, a foghorn. Oh, fog. Oh, that'll be it. Funny, I don't remember reading anything about any fog in the weather reports. Well, it does come down here very quickly, you know. Yes. I think we should head back to port. What do you think, Pope? Yeah. No! Henry, I have not put up with all of this just to turn back without seeing a single dolphin. Ah, well, they're not that great, actually. No, the thing is, you say... Henry, see... tell them! Um, right, well, you chaps, um, I think we should go on a bit. I'm going to have a look round on deck, see how bad it is. Good idea. What? The thing is, Barry, when he sees how foggy it is, he'll let us go back to port. Port? This is not a boat. We're on a double-decker bus. Go on then, Melvin. But we must wrap you up first. We don't want you catching a cold. We don't want anybody saying that we're responsible. They usually do. Get the deck coach, Barry. Right. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you are. Better safe than sorry, eh? It doesn't feel like we're on deck. The air feels too dry. Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. She wasn't there before. Sort it out, buddy. She says her name's Gladys and she's quite happy where she is. Leave it to me. She is. OK. Where's Melvin? Oh, no. Look, he can't have gone far. You go looking for him, and I'll drive round the block a couple of times. OK. Is everybody happy? Oh, there it is. Why do you keep seaweed under the seat? Um, a vital piece of weather forecasting equipment, this. You can't beat a piece of seaweed. Yes, sir. Uh, these are the deck gardens. This way. Well, 
Well, this is very pleasant. So peaceful and relaxing. What would you say to a little tipple? Hello, little tipple. <laughs> what do you mean you've lost Melvin? Well, one minute he was there, the next minute, foof. Well, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to catch him up. Ha. Hold on tight. Oh, Why can't you look what you're doing? I'm oh, sorry, darling, the boat lurched. Anyway, it's only a spot. It'll come off some soapy water. <laughs> Better warn the passengers, Barry. Is everybody happy? Huh. Only I thought I'd just let you know that we're running into some... Uh... Huh? Choppy seas. Well, I can understand your point of view. Oh, no. I've had just about as much as I could take. I don't care about the dolphins anymore. I just want to get home. And I'm fed up with sitting here with the curtains drawn. It's all gone dark. What's happening? Night falls very quickly around these parts. <coughs> what was that? I can explain. Well? Uh, no, I can't. We seem to have drifted a little off course. What's happened now? It's all gone quiet. The engine stopped. What are we going to do? It's rather exciting, actually. Reminds me of an old ghost story hey, I once I heard. I want to know. Well, it happened around these parts, too. Apparently, 15 men were cast to drift with no food. Henry! They had to eat the cabin boy. We haven't got a cabin boy. There's you. Oh, no, no. You don't want to eat me. I'm too skinny. Now, Paul, on the other hand... What about me? Nothing. And they still say that on a still night you could hear old Sailor Jake's peg leg tap, tap, tapping on the wooden deck. <coughs> Henry! Henry, take me home! <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll look back on this and laugh. Huh. Well, at least Gladys enjoyed herself. Oh, 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 maybe not. Oh, 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 oh.